this is an experience, and, and I have been in many places around the world that people can say that of, but this truly is special. What I love about Earthwatch projects is they take you to places you'd never be able to go on your own, really exotic destinations to do things you could never do on your own, because you need the experts there to make it all possible and make it happen. Crossing the ferry was uh, the end of a very long journey for me, 30 hours flight, but um, this was otherworldly. Crossing over, I guess, from civilization to something which is just absolutely wonderful. The, the tight roads curving around the, the, uh, the mountainside, and then coming down to Crocodilus to, to see it here, and you're in the midst of the rainforest. I, I, you can hear it now, coming down through the leaves. Uh, it's a, a, a wonderful lullaby at night, which I absolutely love. Having the Earthwatch team here is just an amazing uh, facility, I guess you can say. It's, it enables us to do this job because really Norm and myself are just two scientists. There's 12,000 trees or something in all these plots. Uh, that would take us approximately five years, I think, to measure all that. <laughs> Working with volunteers is a, is a, a multi-spectral view for me. And, and uh, what's exciting is that they're all highly motivated. The input is assisting uh, with the research as an immediate outcome, you know, collecting data. Um, but more importantly, I think it's about sharing observations and knowledge and raising their awareness uh, of an environment that I've grown to be quite passionate about um, and to share some of that passion. The gangplank of the boat drops down and you find yourself going into the mangroves and you split up into teams. You're climbing up trees and you're measuring uh, diameters of, of the tree. Uh, you're down in the mud and you're viewing the crabs. Each thing that you're doing is a part of a scientific team and uh, uh, in an environment unlike which I bet you'll set foot in again uh, anytime soon. Really neat. The contribution to the greater good, that it is actually very fulfilling to have contributed uh, to something that will live on beyond us all and is useful for us all. It's a great working vacation. And then in the midst of it, we're able to have recreational activities. I run each morning down to one of the most beautiful beaches. And we had a, a recreation day where a, a group of us went to dive the Great Barrier Reef, which was astounding. It's a group of people, many of whom you will never have met before, and some of whom you'll probably never meet again. And that in itself is quite a special thing about Earthwatch, that each trip I've been on is like a complete experience in its own right and a very memorable holiday and occasion. If someone's on the fence about whether or not to go on this, the fact that they're on the website and they're looking, they've, they've got within them a desire for something that's adventure. This is. Uh, this is not typical. When you hear mangrove forest, you're not just traipsing through a forest that might be in a, in a park in the middle of your town. Uh, this is out there. This is, this is something very uh, unique, something you'll be able to tell your friends and family about for years to come. Yeah.